dear students welcome back to my channel the learner's digest my name is divya khanvi and this is going to be part 3 of the chapter the marathon of hope that we started in the last class so i am sure all of you must have gone through part 1 and part 2 of the video so let's quickly start with the rest of the chapter i'm going to complete it in this part so uh, please open your english books we are we were in page number 111 so let me read from paragraph number um, 31. Okay. At Hawkesbury, the first town inside the Ontario border, Teddy was welcomed with cheers, balloons, and a brass band. He even bought a police escort with lights flashing. Two young bicyclists, Jim Brown and Gard Walker, rode 300 miles from Toronto to Ottawa to hand over to Terry more than dollar fifty thousand in cash in ottawa terry met the governor general of canada edward trio he wore his same gold gray flannel short and his marathon of hope t-shirt he wore these very clothes when he met prime minister pierre elliott to do too terry had wonderful support from canadians of all walks of life school children donated money saved from their pocket money Bus drivers stopped their buses when they saw him. They collected money from the passengers to add to Terry's collection. Okay. So in the last class, in the last part, we all saw how Terry Fox, Fox has progressed in his marathon of hope. You know, and he was becoming so popular. People were watching him on TV. They were coming forward and giving him donations. And he even met the Prime Minister of Canada and he even met Prime Minister Pierre Elliott to do it. Right? No, Japani Janti Manchili will have welcome good donations at you. Even students were giving him his pocket money. How sweet is that? Right? No? And the bus drivers they were collecting money from his passengers and then they were adding to his collection. Two uh, bicyclists, Jim Brown, Ragat Walker, they also rode 300 miles to Toronto, they can Ottawa summer, and the Unale, 50,000 cash ladder, Terry Fox, like this arena. So we can see everyone is helping him. The radio stations and TV networks were now covering Terry almost all the time. He had become a celebrity, and wherever he went, people mobbed him. They wanted to touch him, shake his hand, get his autograph. As he ran, a wonderful surprise awaited him. Just outside the city of Toronto, he saw his family standing at the roadside. One of the city newspapers had flown them in for a reunion. With him, for a few minutes, they were hugging and crying and laughing and asking questions. But Terry soon remembered his challenge and set off again with high spirit. His tiredness lifted as if by magic. Okay, so what happened here? As we all can see, everyone is like so supporting Terry Fox, you know, on the radio, uh, TVs, and you know, newspaper channels. Everyone is coming around Terry Fox and the Unlighted live broadcast, you know. So news channels were reporting what is happening uh, in Terry Fox's marathon of hope. At the moment, I know. So, news ma flash by the And that the Kinji people, wherever he went, he had become so famous. He had become like a celebrity that everyone wanted to meet him. They wanted to touch him and get his autograph, and he had become so famous. On the outside, in the city of Toronto, he met his family. Every newspaper channel leje, usko family life ani tyan leera rakhi de sare na just to see their reunion and the unna leje. They also will record it and show it to the rest of the public as a news. But leje usko family pan tyan sare na they were hugging and crying. They were praising him, my na. And the tyan dekhiye then Teddy, but then Teddy did not get distracted. He continued with his marathon in high spirit. Our family life media ali hoy na. Then dekhi. The city of Toronto, we are in page number 113, eh, paragraph number 36. The city of Toronto welcomed him with cheering crowds. They stood on a platform in front of the Toronto City Hall where thousands had gathered to hear him. At Toronto, the volunteers had a busy time dashing back and forth be between the crowd and the cars that stopped to contribute. The crowds and the fundraising continued as Terry ran through the heavily populated centers of southern Ontario. Okay, so 
as we know everywhere wherever he went people were crowding uh, around him you know they thinking they thinking toronto pugi pachi pani they thinking ki hunde thyo u ja ja thyo gaadi haru rokera ula contributions haru pura manche le dinde thyo fund raisers le fund haru raise garera everyone was uh, contributing to Terry Fox's marathon. Each day's run became a parade of kids, adults, police escorts, film crews, honking cars, and dozens of volunteers dodging around collecting donations. Terry inspired many. At one place, prisoners washed cars and collected nine hundred dollars for the marathon of hope. Another man covered eleven and a half miles on his hands and knees and raised five thousand dollars. Just as he was about to reach Thunder Bay, Ontario. Terry felt a sharp pain in his chest. He did not want to disappoint the crowds waiting for him, so he kept running, but the pain wouldn't go. Terry went into the van and told Doc to take him to the hospital. This time, the cancer was in his lungs. Oh my God! Okay, just imagine. Yani raje abuje Terry had become so famous that. Wherever he went, okay, now he was not alone in his marathon. Oje kudda feri je alongside there were large number of people who were walking. There were escorts, you know, there were police vans, you know, cars. You know, pin song song, mu song song, you know, kudde thiyo. They were escorting him, you know, as a support. Everyone were around him, but kudda kudde when he was about to reach. He felt a sharp pain in his chest. Okay, that's why. But he didn't want to disappoint the people. Abu, the pugnu da ate kuthi wale ra. He continued running. Okay, but then ki boyo. Itti bisi wala chati to pugnu thali re. He could not bear it. Na abu unbearable bade je. He went into his van and he told his friend, Doug, take me to the hospital. Bade ra wale sare na. Pura bisi pain boy. Abu sakti na bade ra. Then hospital ma janda firi je. What they realized, they realized that the cancer which he had earlier, you know, it had reached his his lungs, you know, cancer was go lungs samo pugi sa kisa. Terry had to discontinue, but the campaign to raise funds went on. Famous stars like John Denver, Annie Murray, Elton John, and many others sang for him and raised ten point five million. Terry became the youngest Canadian ever to receive Canada's highest civilian award, the Companion of the Order of Canada. He received many other awards, including one from the American Cancer Society. A stamp was issued honoring his achievement. September 13th is designated Terry Fox Marathon of Hope Day. Thousands of letters poured into Terry, including one from the President of America, Jim Carter, and Pop John Paul II. Okay, so what happened here? Job or Terry Lechi, usko marathon complete. Gornui aate ko thi. Uthe thi pehla chahi usko chati ma pura pain bhaiyo. Ata he had to be taken to the hospital. Ata hospital mein ki bhaiyo? Cancer chhe usko chati samo aayi puge saare. Now Terry had. It was very difficult for him. Ab the siri uko siri. कसरी रन कर कसरी कम्प्लीट कर सो ही हेड टू डिस्कटिन्ू हिज मैराथन वेन ही वॉज अबाउट टू रीच इट वॉज भेरी सैड इन डीड बट देन उसको फलोवर्स देप्ट द मैराथन अन फंड्स रेज भैर थे अंदर फेमस सींगर्स जैसे जन डेनव एनी मुरी एवरी वन सैंग फर हिम एंड दे रेज अ फंड अफ टेन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन ओके एंड देन Terry received Terry like a pure award. Er, when he did that, he did that. Okay, Canada co highest civilian award. Okay, Canada man did that. A companion of the Order of Canada. Okay, award. Okay, he was the and he was the youngest Canadian to receive that award. Okay, and likewise, he also received many other award. And on the usko honor ma je er a stamp pani issue gore ko thiyo. On the September thirteenth like je. It was designated as Terry Fox Marathon of Hope Day. Okay, so thousands of and Terry the hospital ma thiyo hai na, so everyone okay, so was like writing letters to him, man, na showing him like support, ulai motivate kore ra, hai na, ulai usko well wishes hai, leche pura ulai letters hai nu, but I when he was in the hospital, so Terry died on. Sunday, June nineteen eighty one. But today he remains a symbol of hope and courage to millions throughout the world. Okay, so he died on a Sunday, 
June 1981. So this time, the second job cancer attack by Usko Chesma, Teddy could not survive it. Okay, but even though he died, he still remains as a symbol of hope for everyone. Okay, he's become a global icon for hope. Okay, and as you all can see in page number 114, Yani Rajay Teddy ko era statue pani. Okay, so this was the story, the real life story of Terry Fox that happened. Okay, and the Terry Fox story So never give up on on your dreams and hopes. Okay, no matter what the reason. Terry Fox just to manji just era artificial leg to he suffered from cancer. He took up a challenge of running a marathon across Canada. Ule did think of God to success era artificial leg bara is to run the marathon only run God to success. Me and you also can do so much in this world. There is so much in this world to do, so much in this world to contribute. And Ule this to Kuta boy by Pani Ule cancer patients are who research Kunagiti Ule fundraise God. And that's why people remembered him even after he died okay so that is why he is a symbol of hope so there is a lot to learn and get inspired and motivated from the story of teddy fox i am sure all of you must also have got inspired and motivated by the story of teddy fox and the abuji uh life ma gorni aina ki banera so shawala through this story you all must have learned something i'm sure so with this i end this video and as the drill goes do like, share and subscribe to my channel dear students and I'll see you all with a fresh new chapter in my next video. So uh, till then stay tuned and stay safe. Bye bye.